Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, James Ruins Everything, uh, in terms of Daniel Jones and his production analytics. Uh, the quarterback out of Duke, um, he's someone that has gotten a lot of traction on Twitter, a lot of traction across the uh, sports writers, whatever. You know, Check out this Daniel Jones. He's playing really well. We're going to take a look at his production data to see what he actually looks like in terms of his long-term potential, um, which is not that fantastic. And again, I don't go out to just make players look bad. The data does that. So don't shoot the messenger here. But in terms of Daniel Jones's data, there's a lot of concern for him uh, in terms of becoming a long-term starter and in terms of him becoming an all-pro Pro Bowl player, which is what some people, some people see him as. Uh, so when you look at Daniel Jones in terms of the bottom end career FBS score, and again, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're new to the channel, new to the work that I do, um, you can kind of see where I'm coming from in terms of these data points in, in terms of the description. So Daniel Jones has a 51.12 career FBS score. You take all of his scores at Duke. You know, every single season he played at Duke, you score him. Uh, based on that method which is described in the description and then you add it all up and you get that average and his average was 51.12 out of 100 not that great in terms of long-term outcomes the all pro all pro career threshold is 77.32 the pro bowl career threshold is 64.6 and the starter career threshold is 17.26 so not that fantastic for daniel jones uh, when you look at his overall data points so again that's sort of the biggest issue with him is that uh that his career has not been that great. Uh, and when you look at the average career scores, average all-pro score, average Pro Bowl score, and average starter score, way below those standards of average potential. And again, this is not to say that Daniel Jones has a 0% chance of becoming an NFL starter. You saw that the bottom end threshold was about 17.26. So this doesn't take him out of running and becoming a starter. But what the data says is that there is a less likelihood of him becoming an NFL starter compared to other NFL quarterbacks that are, or not NFL quarterbacks, but prospects that are entering the draft this year. Um, so that is the main concern with Daniel Jones. Very poor career data. Had a bump this year. I mean, had a better year. He had his best year as a, a college player this year, but it, most of his career has been marked with lots of issues. So um, we'll see what happens to him ultimately, but... Uh, just doesn't really look like a NFL, Pro Bowl, or All-Pro starter at this point based on his production data. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jim Metrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.